A week after his death, sympathizers have continued to visit the home of Nigeria's frontline politician Solomon La. Benny La, who, like her father, is a trained lawyer and politician, is home to receive the condolences. I shared a lot of fond memories with my dad. Um, the first being my dad taught me to believe in myself. But the bond between dad and daughter goes beyond their professional career. It's an emotional tie whose end gives Benny a breakdown. But all she and her other two siblings can hold on to now are his fond memories. The family is however not alone in the grief. The former governor of Plateau State and the pioneer national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, touched many lives with his style of politics. I also hope that all of us political actors in this country will begin to honor you know, his uh, contributions by way of addressing insecurity in this country. He used to tell me, we would discuss, you know, he would tell me, you know, Nigeria is better off as one country than people talking about breaking the country. But La belongs to the array of a fading generation of Nigeria's most brilliant leaders. I have no doubt that young people like us are available to continue to the good job Baba has started. We should learn. Definitely there are people. But we're looking for people that can sacrifice their life, sacrifice their resources, sacrifice everything. La died in an American hospital after a protracted illness and the family is expected to announce arrangements for his burial soon. But for the time being, the caliber of names on his condolence register keeps growing, attesting to the influence of the man they fondly called the emancipator. Omo Bazwai, AIT News, Abuja.